Let's have a look into the DAX info view functions in Power BI. If you've never heard of them, no worries, I will explain them to you. You can use these functions in like the DAX query view or even in a DAX measure, a calculated column or even a calculated table. And what do they do? These functions, they show you all kind of information about your data. Like how many tables do I have in my data model? How many columns are there? How many measures? And if we have DAX measures, what are the DAX measures? Like super handy information. And I know when you just have like five DAX measures in there, you can click on them and you can look how the DAX looks like. But being honest, most data models I see, they have hundreds of DAX measures and most of the time they are not documented well. And additionally, if they're documented, the documentation is old. It's somewhere in an Excel file, somewhere external. Probably someone had a look at it two years ago. So all the new DAX measures, you can't find them in there. So having your documentation, for example, in Power BI, in a file about your model is really powerful because you can export that to Excel, of course, but you can also use it in Power BI and see what's going on on right there no external tool needed so it is great for documentation it can also be great for just getting an overview knowing what's going on seeing for example how many hidden columns tables measures there are what the relationships are these kind of things so there are a lot of these info view functions and I will put a link to the official Microsoft documentation in the description where you can see an overview of all these functions. I will talk about four of them and I will also show them to you in Power BI and then I will show them how you can use them in the query view but also how you can use them like in a calculated table where you could show in your Power BI report for example which DAX measures are used. So let's go into Power BI to Look at that. So here we are in Power BI and you see I already created like a page where I have the info views for tables, columns and measures. So you see in that data model that we're looking at at the moment, I have nine tables, 74 columns, 27 measures. And I also created the calculated table where we actually see my table, the measure name and the DAX. So even the ones with more extensive DAX, you can see them here. And I also added the column, is it hidden or not? You could add more columns there. So let's get started. We start somewhere else. It's in the DAX query view. It's here on the left side. And you maybe have seen this before. You can just write an evaluate statement and then for example, the info view measure. And then when you run this, this will actually give you the result of that info view function in a table form. So this is the first one I want to show you, evaluate info view measures. It gives me back all the measures in my model. You see at the beginning, we have the ID, we have the name of the measure, we have the table that it is in, there all my measures are in the sales table. The description, you see, I did not add any description for my measures. If you would add a description to your measures, you would see it here. The data type, the expression, so that's actually the DAX. And you see here, it's all written in one row. If you hover over it, you actually see it here. You could do right click on it and say copy selected. And you can also say at the top copy entire table selected cells. So you could copy that to some other place that you want to look at it. We have a format string, if a format string is used, is it a hidden measure or not? And then we have like display folder, simple measure, data category, format, like it's going on and on and on. So this is all the information you can get. And you can get that by just going to DAX query view and write down evaluate info view measure run and this will run. So this will give you insight in your measures. And I think that's something most people are actually looking for because they want to see what measures do we have and what's the DAX of these measures. Another one that is super helpful is info view tables. Which tables do I have? If I type that info view tables and I click on run, I see we have these tables in there. That's their name. And again, a lot of information. And then I have two calculated tables in there. And then you also see how they were calculate. Another one super handy is the columns, which gives you back all the columns that you're using. And there you see, for example, I have some hidden columns there. So we have columns, measures, tables, and some an additional one 
that I really like is about the relationships. We see, I have four relationships in my model. You see the name, you see what the relationship is, you see if it's active, the from, the to. So all this information that you of course also see in your model view, but here you get the overview in a table form. So this is very, very handy. You can copy it. You can uh, look at it from here, but this is of course the Ducks query view and I can run this, but maybe you just want to report with an overview of your semantic model, what's in there, what are the definitions, these kind of things. And there we have this handy thing. We can not only use the info view functions in the Ducks query view, but we can also use it in our Ducks, like measures or like in a calculated table. So for example, I have here a card visual with the amount of tables in my model. How is that measured? It's actually this number of tables is count rows. And there again, I have my info view table statement. So this is what I had in the Ducks query view where I said evaluate info view tables. You have the same, but then count rows info view tables. And it will just count the rows that you see there. And the same applies, of course, for the columns where it says count rows in for few columns and of course for the measures. So this could be a nice overview of how many tables columns measures do we have. And then you can create a table with that information. How do I do that? Here we have the table measures and model is the name of my table. Give it a meaningful name. And then I say selected columns. What columns do I want to select from the info view measures? Because I want insight into the measures. You could do that with the other functions too. And then I want like, I want to call the first column table. It should give me the information of the table. Then I want measure name. It should be the name, DAX formula, the expression and is hidden is hidden. And this, what you see at the right side, this actually corresponds with, let's go there. When we run it in the DAX query view, you see here we have the name, the table, expression is hidden. So you could refer to any of these columns. I just choose to uh, refer to these four to keep it simple for this demo. And this is, once you do that, you will get a table with these columns in there and you can just drag it and you will have this actually in Power BI in a report. So this could be like a report about your model, like what's in it, your documentation. And because it is based on your model and it is in Power BI, when you add a column or a measure, it will actually automatically be added to your overview. So for example, we just add a measure, new measure, and you see this jumps from 27 to 28. And now we could say test is one. And then if we go to our overview here, we see sales test is one. It was automatically added. And now if I remove that, delete from model, you will see it goes away here and it's not in our measures anymore. So this is very handy. This will make your life a little bit easier. So you don't need any external tools to do this. I know there are external tools that do it. They're very handy. They're very good. I don't say don't use them, but you can actually do this in Power BI using the info view functions. So this is very handy. You can do everything in Power BI. However, there are some limitations. Not everyone can do this. You need to have at least right permissions on the model. So if you only have few permissions on the data model, you can't get that information and it does not work with a live connection. So in my example, I had import mode. I have added rights on that semantic model, then it works. So I hope this helped. I did not know about this for the longest time. And when I found out that we have this info view functions, I thought, well, this would have saved me a lot of time looking back. Uh, I did a lot of manual typing over of DAX measurements. I used a lot of external tools. I saved everything in Excel, really just like a hard copy of an Excel somewhere, which of course then never was updated. And you can do that actually in Power BI, just using the info view functions. Like I said, there are many, many more of these functions. Uh, I will put the link in the description so you can actually find it in the official Microsoft documentation. And let me know, do you have other use cases? 